Pokemon Sword and Shield are finally out, but now comes the hard part. Which version should you get? Regardless of which one you pick up, the core adventure will be the same across both titles, so you can generally expect to encounter similar characters, Pokemon, and story beats whether you're playing Sword or Shield. However, as has been the case since the series began, each version will also feature some distinct elements, so the experience will differ somewhat depending upon which game you play. Traditionally, the biggest difference between Pokemon games is which monsters you can capture in the wild, but some installments have shaken things up in more dramatic ways with version-exclusive locations and characters. Here are all the differences you can expect. And at first for the series, Pokemon Sword and Shield will feature some version-exclusive gym leaders. Some cities in the Galar region will be home to different gyms depending on which version you're playing. Pokemon Sword is home to B, the fighting gym leader, and Gordy, the rock gym leader. Shield, on the other hand, has Alistair, the ghost gym leader, and Melanie, the ice gym leader. While the gym missions look different, they largely play out the same. Just as in the past, Sword and Shield will each be home to a handful of Pokemon that can't be captured in the other version. Here's the full list of exclusive Pokemon. Also, it's entirely possible I might mess these names up, so please blame me, Kurt the VO guy, not the writer. Sorry in advance. Sword exclusives, Zedot, Nuzleet, and Sh Shifri, Swirlux and Slurpuff, Scraggy, Scrafty, Gothita, Gotharita, Gotharita, Gothitella, Rufflet, Bravery, Mawile, <laughs> Mawile, Farfetched and Surfetched, Passimian, <laughs> Turtonator, Turtonator. So, let me do that one again. Turto, turto, <laughs> turto, <laughs> I can't do this one. Turtonator, Soul Rock, Galarian, Darumaka, and Daramanitan. Daramanitan. Dino? D. Dino. <laughs> Zoelas. Zoelas and. Hydrogen? Hydrogen. Jingmo o. Hakamo o. And. Oh God. <laughs> okay, wait. Hold on, I got it. Hakamo o and. Como o. Zashian. I think I got that one right. Shield exclusives. Lotad. Lombre. And. Ludicolo. Spritzy. And. Aromat, aromatise, to say? Spritzy and aromatise, Korogunk, Kor, Kor, Korogunk, and Toxicroak, Solosis, Ducian, Runiculus. That wasn't right. Volibi, and Mandibuzz, Sableye. Galarian pon, pon, Ponyta. Okay, I could do that one. Gal Galarian Ponyta and Rapid Dash. Oranguru? Orangu Guru? Oranguru. Drampa. Lunatone. Galarian Corsolo and Cursola. Galarian Corsola and Cursola. Lavatory? <laughs> Larvatar. Poopatar. <laughs> I can't be right. Puppetar and Tyrantar, Gumi, Sligu, and Gudra, Zamazenta. <sighs> that was horrible. Okay. Both versions also feature a new Pokemon named Applin with exclusive evolutions. In Sword, you can get an item that evolves Applin to Flapple, and in Shield, you can find an item that evolves it into Appleton. Like previous games, Sword and Shield are each presented by a different legendary Pokemon. The cover of Sword is adorned by Zacian, which wields a sword in its maw and moves about gracefully, while Shield's cover is graced by Zamazenta, which boasts an armor-like mane. Hopefully this video helped you in deciding which version to get, that is, unless you just get both of them. Either way, good luck on your journey to becoming a Pokemon Master, and to be the best, the best there ever was. Make sure to come back here to GameSpot for everything Pokemon Sword and Shield. Thanks for watching.